Have you ever tried to measure a belt with these? Stop. I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to get your belt length. So we've all been there. We have our accessories on the engine. We need a belt. Well, let's go ahead and measure it, right? We'll grab a string. We'll grab an extension cord, something like that. Maybe even a regular tape measure running around here. How many times you ran to the auto parts store, got the belt, brought it back, and it didn't fit? I have a couple of quick tips that's gonna make this a lot easier and get you a good starting point for your belt lengths. So why is it just a starting point for measurements? Because not all belts are equal. Now, when I say that is, you go to the auto parts store, you get this random belt that says it's this long, right? It's probably right. Well, let's take this one for example. It says it should be a 93 and a half inch belt, 935K6, right? Let's go ahead and measure it then. This actually measures barely 93 inches, so it's already a half inch shorter than what it says it is. That's not gonna work out. So, while you're measuring this belt, keep in mind not all belt lengths are created equal. Let's get into this. So when measuring for a belt length, I like to use what's commonly called a tailor's tape or a tailor's tape measure. This is those floppy measurement tools they use when you're getting you know, married and they're measuring your tucks or whatever. This works out really well because it's flexible enough where it's not going to jump off of the, of the pulleys, but it's thin enough where it's not gonna give you a, a inaccurate reading. So I'm going to, I usually like to start at the crank here I'm gonna follow my belt routing here with the tape. Sometimes you're gonna kinda, sometimes it's better to have more than two hands. But around the water pump here, up over the idler, AC compressor. So we got the tailor's tape wrapped around the accessories. We need to get this tensioner all the way maxed out and see what this tape measure reads. All right, we got the belt at maximum tension and it's showing right at 960, 96 inches basically. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, that'll be good enough. So now that we have our measurement, which was 96 and a half ish, I'm gonna go ahead and add an inch to that and that's gonna give us a good baseline to get our tensioner in the middle of its sweep right where we want it. So let's go find a belt. All right, so I got my belt. We prefer Gates belts here because we feel they're the most accurate belt as far as length goes. So let's go ahead and put this on. One thing I will say is you always wanna put your belt on your water pump last. It's the biggest smooth belt and it makes it the easiest. Sometimes I'll just kind of put it right on the bottom of this thing to kind of mimic where it's gonna be. Get everything else squared away. So I'm ready to put it all the way on. Put my ratchet on my tensioner here. Give it a good tug, max it out. Put it around the water pump. Perfect. So you see our tensioner went back into the middle of its sweep. What I like to do sometimes to make sure it's the right length of belt, I'll kind of put this on the other way and see if I can't max that tensioner out. If you can max it out easily, it's too long. You do not want that. So remember, this method will just get you a good starting point for your length of belt. You might have to do one, maybe two belt lengths, but this will get you really close. And that's about it. You, you guys. I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to get your butt length. Butt length? <laughs> Don't you need this? Yeah, totally do. <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> <laughs>